Alexis and today we are vlogging. Brian is off work today so it is a perfect opportunity for us to grab the camera and make a video and just have a little bit of fun. Also I wanted to kind of talk about a couple things in this video so I figured this would be a perfect opportunity to communicate a few things. Vlogs are just a perfect way to have some dialogue back and forth with you guys so that's also what we're going to be doing today. But I guess with no further ado welcome to the vlog. Welcome to a video. It's been long anticipated. Our last video was a prank and I I know some of you were like surprised like oh my god you're pranking now it was just for fun we were having a little bit of fun and honestly to prepare for something like that is way easier than vlogging all day because I have to align the stars just right for it to work out for us so I'm trying to do better about it but I just wanted to kind of let you guys know like no this is not about to become a prank channel we we're just having a little bit of fun <laughs> but with that I hope you enjoyed this video and welcome back to BKTV your hair's getting curly. Time to convert to a barber here, huh? <laughs> or just go to curls. Do curls like me. I messed up my patch. I was already like that, bro. So I just recorded a video, you guys, for my channel where I did this look and I'm really feeling it. I don't know if you guys know, so our dogs, Lola and Crixus, we've had Lola for like a year, Crixus for probably, what, three years? Yeah, we've had Crixus, I think three, four years. And Crixus has had to have surgery. Now Lola had to have surgery off. Uh oh, oh. I guess Aries is home. But yeah, Lola, she had to have surgery too. They actually had to amputate her tail because she was having issues with her tail. So I was kind of bummed out. And then she got spaded. Hi Aries, how are you? Tell B. Jones he can try your barber. Show him that fresh cut. Show him that fresh cut. Hey, that's nice, huh? It's not better than walk. It's not better than walk, but it's nice stuff. <laughs> it's not much better than walk. Okay, but when you can't see walk, what you gonna do? Walk. Like can this? you come here to Indiana, please? <laughs> what you about to do? Just some turn up juice. What's turn up juice? Whatever tickles my fancy, whatever I find. Oh my goodness. Are you giving me some? Okay. Well, get us some turn up juice because I think we should have fun on Saturday night. Wait, let me see if I can get in here. We are actually turning down for the evening and I figured I would just chat with you guys a little bit before I close this vlog out. So as you guys know, in one of our last videos, we talked about the fact that we just got engaged. So we've gotten this question a lot and that is pertaining to if we picked a date. And we unfortunately, and I'm gonna turn this TV down just a little bit because it's kind of loud. <clears throat> but we unfortunately have not picked a date yet and it's kind of because we're trying to narrow down a venue where we're from So back in our hometown We're like looking at different venues and it's just tricky when you live in a whole nother state to figure out exactly what you want without seeing it for yourself So this is something that I now have and Brian's sister actually gave this to me And I was just super excited to get a book that I can now organize all of our thoughts and decisions and everything that's happened for the big event and the big day we are definitely thinking about a full formal event versus like a getaway or something that is like really small or just getting eloped or whatever so that is where we are at this point I kind of wanted to go to a bridal shop I think is what you call it and look at some dresses and I was actually tempted to take Brian with me just to get a sense for what 
he likes. I don't know if that's the best thing to do though, but I figured we could go and just kind of like browse around in the early stages of looking at dresses so that way I can get a sense for what he likes and then I can just kind of go from there. And obviously I wouldn't let him like see exactly what I was going to get or let him even know what I'm thinking, but I thought that'd be just kind of fun, you know. So I don't know. We have so much to do. I'm looking at this big old book, you guys, and I'm just like... It's intimidating like this whole process is very intimidating and I really think I have what they call analysis paralysis where I'm trying to process it all and I feel totally paralyzed so yeah that's where I'm at right now I don't know so one other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is with this channel it has been really hard to get both of us together and you know do these vlogs weekly so I'm thinking about doing some more like sit down topics where we used to do and I think we called it like I can't even think what we called it I'm like sitting here and I'm totally like having a brain freeze right now but it was basically where like we'd be we'd be in our pajamas and we'd have oh pillow talks something like that pillow talks and we'd like have these topics and we just talk about it and it was kind of cool because I was able to get his perspective as well as just like talk about things that were very interesting to me and after watching that that show on own where they had all the married couples on and it was just like kind of neat to see all their different perspectives on different topics i figured that'd be like a really dope thing to do as well as for us to like document various phases or thoughts or things that we had discussed or talked about in our relationship at different points in time so yeah that's pretty much what i'm thinking I don't know. Let me know in the comment section if you guys like that idea. I feel like I'm so slouchy right now. Let me try to sit up a little bit more. <laughs> you guys like my pajamas? These are like, I think I had these on when we were in um, in Miami. Yeah, these are like some of my favorites because they got the little shorts and all that good stuff. Okay, so another thing. I want to show you guys this bed we just got for Crixus and Lola. It is such a cute bed and it's big enough for the both of them together. They've just got to the point now where they'll sleep together in the bed. Last night it was a no-go, but tonight it's they're doing a little bit better. So we'll see if they make it all the, all the way through the evening. I don't think we have another one of their beds up here, so they're going to have to make it. Otherwise, somebody's going to be in the floor. What you over there doing looking at your phone? Turn off the lights downstairs because you didn't turn them off. I did. No, they're still on. It maybe didn't go off, but I did. You see how he tried to do me, y'all? Try to tell me I didn't do, didn't turn off the lights. Another thing um, we've been actually doing, well, I would say I've been watching is Black Mirror. So how many of you guys watch Black Mirror? Definitely let me know that in the comment section as well. I am honestly in love with that Netflix series. However, and I'm gonna get Brian in the um in the camera. I think too much when I watch that show like usually after i watch it i cannot get it off my mind and then i'm craving to watch another one but i feel like i think too deep and when they're dark it's difficult for me like i don't know so we just watched the one what was it called fire the Shoot dj the dj fire the dj something yeah, yeah something like that and it was about the perfect match highly recommend it i enjoyed it but i didn't get it until i posted on facebook like explain the last scene and some people broke it down for me but it's a really good show do you like it you like black mirror i've only seen a few episodes it's pretty good makes you think like it challenges your thinking and perspectives yeah the way today is mm-hmm yeah it's kind of cool i don't know different a little different yeah so what do you think about this big old book i haven't looked at it it's for you i went through like the first three pages and filled it out because I know, he's you didn't. good about that. And I only fit it out because when we were in Miami, you were like, we got engaged on this day. And PJ was like, I did. We got engaged <laughs> on this day. Like, PJ is excellent with dates, so shout out to PJ for... Saying the right good, date. Yeah, being good on dates. Yeah, because I think I said the 12th and it was really like the 9th or something like that. That would have been bad. Have it all wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a lot. How come, like, books like this are always geared to the female? Like, how come the male doesn't get a book to plan the wedding? Why does it got to be the female's thing, huh? That's always like a woman's dream come true is getting married and planning the perfect wedding. But, I mean, what's to say it's not the man's dream? You don't want to have a wedding. I don't really, I could be, I'm cool with going down to Justice as a piece. So I could pick out the dress and everything else no that's what it's not really do. my but i mean i i'm i've done this before so i'm cool 
Okay. I keep thinking about that coin, boy. Woo! That coin. <laughs> no, it. I don't know. I just wondered though, like, how come dudes don't get a book like this? Let y'all do this. You can do it. Okay. Brian is a little more organized too, though, with stuff like this. So he probably would do a really good job. <laughs> Ain't that right? Yeah. So wait, we've talked about Lansing. Is it definitely Lansing? I guess we haven't even started to call around to places yet. So. I thought. Oh. You called one place and the lady didn't call you back and you got mad. <laughs> Why you gotta bust me out? Mm -mm. I hope my eyelash, I took my eyelashes off y'all. I hope I don't look crazy. All right, family. Well, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. We wanted to check in and we're gonna do a better job, even if it's just a sit down video where we talk about like some really cool topics and you know, do like a mix between a short vlog and a really cool topic and some dialogue and all that good stuff. So we're gonna do better. We're gonna make it happen because we miss y'all, miss y'all. <laughs> all right, but with that, we will let you go. We love you and have a great rest of your day. Okay.